Imagine a new revolutionary information processing architecture, one modeled after the neurological geometries of the human brain. This processor base will allow fiberless, that is wireless, interconnection of an arbitrarily large number of processors. You can see here the corona radiata is basically a set of projection fibers emanating from the thalamus area all the way out to the cortex. This is an optical interconnection wherein uh, we're using infrared light to communicate between and elements that are arranged basically in a plane here and elements that are arranged basically spherically above. The ray bundle that is reflected from the parabola assumes the same geometry as the corona radiata is that of a radiating crown. It's basically like a bunch of projecting fibers which would emanate from this point reflect off the parabola, diverging slightly, and ending up on the internal surfaces of these boards. Notably, once it's on board, you also have access to, functionally, an analogy to the cortex. And that uh, is again optical, and you're reflecting there uh, from the external surfaces of these, these boards off of this mirror, the secondary mirror, and back onto the neighboring board. Uh, notably, this structure is spherically symmetric, so you can place boards all the way around it just by virtue of the fact that it's based on a sphere. Uh, that exactly synchronizes the clocks, or at least makes it so the clock can be run up as high as you want. The problem with conventional circuitry is all those wires have to have timing built into the wire length. So you're trimming those wires to specific lengths. Here the length is automatic, where you can have very large numbers of processors that are synchronized precisely. But because the speed of light is a constant, it also makes the common distance equal to a common time. And so that's what allows me to run the clock up to arbitrary heights. So this processor base will allow fiberless, that is wireless, interconnection of an arbitrarily large number of processors. The basic business model is to either license the patent to various organizations that need such equipment or, alternatively, to set up an ISO 9001 C corporation to manufacture and distribute as well as service such, such products.